my god, I didn't see him. Five seconds left. Oh. Oh, and I said, get in, get in. Oh, yes. oh! Yes! Wow. Yes! Good game. Okay, good I mean, club, not good game, but good round. What is going on guys that call me Epi? Welcome to another video on the channel today. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to improve your aim if you're new to playing Rainbow Six Siege or if you're just struggling to land more of those headshots. Now, I do play on console, so it is what it is. That's where my buddies play. That's where I enjoy playing. I do play on PC from time to time. So before anybody goes out of the way to say that players on console can't aim, I just want to ask why we can't all enjoy the same game regardless of platform. So also just wanted to point out my face is in the video. So if that does ruin it for you, Sorry. So with all that being said, we can move on to the first tip, and that is never get caught mid-sprint. So the time it takes to ADS after sprinting is just enough time in this game to take you out of the gunfight. The mistake most players make, including myself, I make this all the time, is that it's it's really difficult to know when it's okay and safe to sprint. If you're not too far away from OBJ on the attacking side with about a minute 50 seconds left, and there's two or three players alive, there's a good chance you're gonna run into one of those three people, and you don't want to make the mistake of being caught in the sprinting animation while they're ADSing on your face. The TLDR is you sprinting sparingly. Unless you're specifically going for a rush, I would recommend ADSing at all times. You guys should be good to go. The next tip I want to talk about with you guys is lowering your aim down sight sensitivity. And it was actually brought to my attention a while back by PC pro player Laxing. And he used to play on Xbox at the time. He used to come into my streams and ask me, Amps, why is your ADS so high? The general misconception is that a high sensitivity will allow you to perform better or allow you to flick faster. While that is true in some cases, Siege is a very slow game. And when you're trying to land a headshot, which is so essential, in this game, one and done and you're out, a lower aim down sight sensitivity will slow down your precision aim, but it will make you a little bit more accurate and you'll be able to land those headshots more frequently. Now I know it's going to take some getting used to, I personally wouldn't recommend anything higher than 30 on console specifically, but that's entirely up to you guys. But this tip will also translate a lot into the next tip I'm going to give you guys, and it's a pretty big one, maybe the most important one on this list, and that is to peak chest or head level. Nothing lower than chest area is when you should be looking around a corner aiming at the next target, and I say that because so many players are just aiming too low. You're aiming too low when you're peeking around corners. You should always be able to predict where the enemy is going to be. You should always assume at all times that there is always going to be somebody around that next corner because if you start walking around the map and playing a certain way, always ADSing, checking um, at least chest level, you are ensuring that you're not only prepared on the one hand for that next engagement, but you're also ensuring that you're probably going to win. You're going to be the only player that walks out alive. Now, I know there's a little bit of peeker's advantage at play here. It's going to be a little tough to deal with, especially with people coming around corners and of course the notorious ping issue is also something you're gonna have to take into account here but I guarantee you guys you'll notice a difference in your gameplay because the end result of the matchup is gonna come down to how fast you can pull your trigger while your opponent is scrambling to adjust his aim and then pull the trigger you're already on target and all you have to do is blow his copper ass away now you can have a little bit of fun with this once you start peeking head level and you start noticing where people are the wall bangs are soon to follow suit I had so much fun wall banging people at head level and of course you're gonna have to spray a little bit but for the most part the wall bangs are headshots and that's the most important thing they do count and the enemies are out now for those longer range engagements if you feel like a superstar and you're super comfortable with playing siege and you've been playing a long time then by all means don't use burst fire but for all those other players that struggle a little bit myself included burst fire is going to be more accurate like a hundred percent of the time it's entirely up to you whether you want to keep the gun on full automatic fire and just tap the trigger for a semi burst or if you actually want to put it on burst fire mode and then fire that way I use a little bit of both for different applications but it's a preference thing but try it for a few rounds and see how much more accurate your shot does get now controlling recoil is probably the most important and most difficult thing to do in rainbow six siege for some players and i know i'm on console again guys i understand that but instead of working too hard to make our shots more accurate why don't we let the recoil do the work why don't we let the vertical kick of the gun which is pretty extreme on most weapons in rainbow six siege regardless of attachment just let it do the work and see the magic happen now this is a split second decision you're gonna have to make if you're firing at a target and if you are off target Target, you're gonna have to take your finger off the right analog stick and just let the kick do its thing I'm not saying rest it completely off the thumbstick But just enough where you can get your shots where they need to go and then of course adjust accordingly This is not going to work every single time just like most of these tips But I found it interesting and it's pretty hilarious in the kill cam when vertical recoil of all things lends the headshot over player skill Because clearly not controlling recoil means I have absolutely no skill in rainbow six siege So thank you guys so much for watching This was my tips for new players and even some other advanced players that play rainbow six siege and just 
just need a little bit of a hand, be sure to subscribe for more and let me know if any of these tips did help you in Rainbow Six Rank Play or even Casual. So thank you guys again. I have been Ampy. I'll see you guys on the next one.